on screen is what this story contains. It goes, all of these will be going through the first chapter all the way to the last chapter and some I will of sexual stuff I will have to read because it is plot relevant and so I have to read it so this will be in all episodes so please if you are not comfortable with any of these things on screen right now then please leave and I'm so so sorry but this will be a kind of you have to be a restricted age to read so I mean listen to it. I'm sorry so I'm so sorry for all that's in this story it is very good so yeah but thank you guys for listening to the story and please this is not my story this is my friend's and she's very awesome so let's continue arc one the curse lives on many years later mom a little girl laid down on a stiff mat cuddling against her mother whose hands had shaken rubbing circles onto the girl's back the girl looked up at her mom through the holes of her clothed drip over her face yes sweetheart annoyed by the scratching of the fabric on her face the girl sat up and reached to take the cloth off her mother's head before she could slip it off the woman hesitantly put it back over her head nearly suffocating from the cloth the little girl pulled at her mother's arm no you must keep it on at all times whispering at the Whimpering at the rough treatment from her mother, the girl asked, Even when I sleep? The woman nodded and slowly released the cloth. A, s a sober look on her face, the little girl frowned, fiddling with the fr furling threads. She laid back down. The woman took off the red hoary she was wearing and laid the fabric over her daughter. But why, Mom? Her mother said nothing, choosing to continue rubbing circles onto her daughter's back. Does it have to do with your scars? The woman stopped rubbing circles onto the little girl and raised a tremble hand to her face. Deep, jagged scars littered her skin. She shivered as her fingers ran over the uneven bumps. No she whispered it doesn't work nothing can stop it not even scars the girl could could not understand what she meant by she could feel her distress she lifted her little hand and held her mother a small tear escaped the woman's closed eyes landing on the girl's skin bang a door slammed open at another part of the house the woman quickly sat up and pulled her daughter with her he's back Hide, baby, hide. Clutching the hoary, the little girl ran to a wardrobe at the side of the room and threw open the doors. Using her little legs, she climbed in. Before she could turn to close the door, her mother slammed it shut, resting her back on the wood. Just as the wardrobe shut, the door to the room slid open, revealing a tall, disheveled man. He shifted over to the shaking woman with a huge smile on his face. My love, he moans, I missed you so much. The man pulled the woman into a, his embrace. He slid down to the floor, bringing the woman with him. Did you miss me too? He whispered, bringing her face into his hair, into her, uh, bringing his face into her hair. The man rocked back and forth as he hugged her form, humming a little tune. He took a deep inhale against the skin of the neck. The woman struggled to speak, her throat suddenly hoarse. At the silence, the man stopped swinging and tightened his whole grip on her. She grunted, pain spreading through her body at the constricting force. I did, I did miss you. At her words, the man smiled and pulled away to gaze at her face. The silence was trembling, long as he sat there, eyes tracing over her scarred face features sorry scared features seeing his smile the woman relaxed relief filling her out of nowhere the man threw the woman onto the floor 
She whimpered as her head slammed onto the ground. His rough hands gripped around her throat. You know that I hate you and you lie, my love. He spat as he closed his hands, cutting her, cutting off her air. She clawed at him, arms and legs flailing. Why, he shouted, why don't you love me? I do everything for you. I give you everything. Why? The man started sobbing and relaxing his grip before collapsing next to the woman. He flew an arm over her stomach as the woman caught her breath. Why? 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 He whispered, trailing his fingers over her torso. The woman breathed heavily. Again, his touch became rough as he dug his nails into her skin. Blood escaped. Oh my god, I'm intruding from the scars. The woman cried out because she. he stopped and waited for her to continue. A, a braille ran through his veins, numbing the pain to, the, to a dull ache. Like a dam, the woman let out her frustrations. I never wanted this. You kidnapped me. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Immediately after her outburst, the woman gasped, her shaky pupils focused on the man that laid next to her you don't mean that do you he asked quietly what eyes widened trained on her every action every twist or tremble did not escape his sight her mouth opened and closed of course not the man cut her off grabbing her by the hair her so roughly she was sure that her scalp had torn Liar, the woman screamed and cried as the man dragged her out of the room. In the closet, the little girl sat there with her hands over her ears as tears streamed down her cheeks. Mom, what are you doing? Like a zombie, the woman had shuffled to the center of the room, a long piece of rope held loosely in her hands. Shush, baby. I have to be quick. He'll be back soon, the woman whispered. Her words were so quiet, the little girl barely caught them. Using a stool, the woman threw the rope over a wooden sat scratch hole. She tried and waved before putting the rope over her head. Mom? Sweetheart, I want you to know that Mommy loves you very much, and I'm sorry. At this, she could feel it in her heart that something was wrong. Anxiety. The little girl ran over to her mother and hugged her legs. Mom? Mom? What do you mean? Her mother lightly kicked her away. Never, ever show your face to any man, she ordered with a foot hanging over the stool. I love you, Yun. She pushed her weight forward, stepping completely off. The stool tripped and shattered into uh, splattered onto its side there was a loud crack of the wood as her mother's body dropped loud croaking sounds came from the woman mom mom this isn't funny yin hugged her mom's body caring crying profusely she shook the hanging body calling out after several moments passed the door to the room slid open.